Hey everybody, welcome back to Furniture Flipping Teacher. I'm Lauren and today we're gonna to be taking a trip to some thrift stores and I'm gonna be sharing my top five thrifting tips to help you earn the most profit on your furniture flips. <laughs> Say that five times fast. Let's hit the road. I'm already seeing something, potentially. We just pulled out. What? Look in there. What do you think that is? I don't know, wood. Something wood <laughs> right there. First stop is the Goodwill right next to our house. Look at this price. Yeah, that's pretty pricey for sure. Goodwill, really? Yeah, so it's like a bar two piece with mirror. I'm not really even sure how this goes. Oh, I think this actually hangs, you know? And then, but anyway, that brings us to tip number one. You wanna have a low buy-in for the pieces of furniture that you grab to flip for a profit. This obviously is something that's super unique, and so I think that's one reason why Goodwill thinks they can sell it for $300. Um, but if you buy this for $300 and then try to sell it for a profit, it's gonna just, the margins aren't really gonna be there. Let's head inside to see what other furniture they have. So this piece is $30 and it's a tall dresser. So that is a good example of a low buy-in for a pretty reasonable dresser. Um, there's very minimal damage and there's the drawers slide out nicely. So that's something that I highly recommend you check before you grab any piece of furniture is to make sure that those drawers slide in and out really nicely. These bottom two are a little bit more tricky, but I think all it would really take is some furniture butter or something to just make them slide a little bit better. So this is another example of a low buy-in. This was previously marked at $50 and now it has been slashed and marked down to $25 in just a day. I'm not sure if, I think maybe they're having a 50% off sale mm. right now or that something because they kind of have a lot of furniture and stuff going on here, which more than they usually do. So I think they're kind of trying to get stuff out of here. Um, so not too bad. Another great piece for a low buy-in, which then leaves you room to get a lot of profit. And this kind of leads me into my second tip, which is to make sure that your piece, the pieces that you're buying don't have huge amounts of damages so that you're gonna have to spend a ton of time making repairs. So something that I always look for, like I said on the other one, is drawer slides that slide really well because drawer slides seem to be really tricky to install again you know not knowing which exact drawer slides you're trying to find and being or them not being available sometimes getting them on just perfectly so this is a great for tip one and two a low buy-in and minimal damage I'm not gonna pick up this dresser today. My personal preference is that I don't typically like to do shorter tall boys um, because in my experience around my market, it hasn't sold for me very well for enough money on the, on the other side. So I'm gonna leave this here for someone else, but it is a really good piece of furniture. 
get a little workout in during your thrifting, uh, thrifting trips. Whoa, 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 but <laughs> it's weird. Oh. Yeah, you're right. oh my god. Oh, this is cool. We could put that in the Airbnb. Potentially, just like a hanging it. I think it's supposed to be a cutting board. It kind of looks like it's water damaged though. No, it's a honeydew list. Thanks, you too. I know I'm getting deals because this has the TJ Maxx sticker still on it for $12.99, and I got it for $3.99. This is what I'm talking about, saving money. On to the next place. Some of you guys who have seen our thrifting videos before have seen us come here to this Salvation Army, and it's very hit and miss. Sometimes the prices are soaring high and sometimes they are a little bit more reasonable. So hopefully today they're reasonable. Oh, oh my goodness. See, like $290, are you serious? This place is out of their guts, damn mind. So yes, this piece, $290. I mean, I don't think it's anything special. Like, it's Maybe not, they're charging you for the baby powder. It's not solid wood, if that even is baby powder. It's actually a neat piece. Like it would be fun to refinish, but there's no brand name. So it's not like they're selling it that high because they know it's like worth a lot. So I would just really avoid things. Again, like if I got this for almost $300, if with tax, probably $300. And then I probably put 50 to $100 into it with materials, then I'm already in at $400 and I could maybe sell this for six to 700, which is still $300 profit but the time investment and all of that has to be factored in as well. And I just don't think that this is gonna have enough of a margin there. Some people that is enough, but again, also you have to think about your buy-in, like that's a little bit more risk that you are taking on because what if it doesn't sell for that 700 and you have to go to 500, well then that's only $100 profit. So just keeping these things in mind and always keeping the profit at the forefront of your mind is a good thing to do. I have honestly had my eye on this piece for as long as it's been in here. I think I've told you guys before, like this has been $30 at one point and then it was $130 at one point. I kind of kick myself for not getting it for when it was $30. There's no price on it right now. So I don't know if that means it's sold or what's going on. I'm not seeing any price. I, I really like it when pieces speak to me and this one, for some reason, just like spoke to me a little bit. Um, now it is, the drawers are maybe a little bit wobbly. So that could have been a reason why, I mean, this has been here probably since December and it's now May. So this tells you how long it's been here. But tip number three is looking for pieces that are desirable for people to purchase. So what I mean by that is looking for great styles and types of furniture. I kind of like this for our Airbnb upstairs the only thing is it doesn't have a like a sleeper or anything i like this couch though how much is it 150. 
feel like you could sell it for more than that. So as for styles of pieces, you wanna keep in mind the trends that are happening in your market and then also just across the country. It's important to stay up on those so that you're, you have pieces of furniture that are on trend that people are going to be more likely to buy. So right now, there's a lot of mid-century modern pieces that are on trend and then just like making people making pieces more updated looking so that they just fit more into the modern home. And then as for types of furniture, I have found personally over the past three years that I've been doing this that dressers and any type of bedroom furniture, nightstands, dressers, chests of drawers, those tend to sell the fastest and for the most because those are the types of pieces that people need in their house. So like a, verse, uh, a need versus like, oh, that would be nice to have. So keeping that in the forefront of your mind is also super important too. If you want your pieces to turn quickly and sell quickly for even a higher price, then think about what people are in need of in their home. Thrift store number three. Oh, shoot. So this is actually the most furniture I've seen in here in a while. Not saying that any of it's something that I want, but we're getting some more inventory here. So for me personally, this is the type of furniture that I really enjoy flipping because I have had the most luck with low buy-ins and then selling it for more for the longer dressers and also looking for dressers that are made of higher quality material and maybe even they have specific brand names that I look for, um, which then allows me to sell it for just a little bit more because of the brand name. So specifically this one is actually branded for Thomasville. That's a really high end, um, furniture company that I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think they still make furniture. And if they do, it's definitely not as high quality as it used to be. This one is, uh, it looks to be pretty much solid wood. I mean, there's gonna definitely be some veneer on here. Um, and I'm not saying that you have to go for solid wood pieces, but it is going to just ensure that you have a better quality. Like once your piece is painted, it's going to hold up really well. It's not made of particle board and MDF. Um, so let's check on the back of this guy and see it's a hundred dollars. Okay. Yes. So this dresser specifically is made of solid wood, but it does have this layer of veneer right here. And it's like a, it looks to me to be like a more of a laminate veneer. I could be wrong though. Sometimes it's a little bit hard to just like tell unless, uh, or like until you get into the project and you start sanding just to see what's underneath something and um, then you'll be able to tell like if you start sanding and you see some wood it's Just important that you go slow at that point But this is a pretty good dresser. I'm gonna check all the drawers This might be good for 
have someone that is actually in search of a dresser very similar to this. I've actually done some pieces for her in the past and she reached out showing me kind of her vision for a next piece that she wants me to do. And neither one of us have been able to find a piece, but I think I'm gonna pick this up. $100, all the drawers slide out nicely. There's very minimal cosmetic damage, but just updating the hardware and potentially the paint color would be very ideal for a piece like this, which is gonna give me a little bit of a quicker turnaround as well. Oh yeah, these chairs are so comfy. If you guys didn't know, this is another, I guess we'll just do another bonus tip. Chairs like these vel velvet swivel rockers are super in style right now, especially if you rip off the skirt down here. Um, this one looks to be in really, really nice shape, meaning no rips or tears, and then like really no stains, which is something that is even better because stains are just a pain to get out. Um, but I might pick this one up too. It's $20. And typically I can sell these from anywhere from like 150 to about $200. This is $5. I think. Looks comfy. Yeah, I think there's, I think the swivel rocker is like on upside down or something. So that's why it's like weird. Or is it loose? Two screw maybe could be loose too. So I know that's been the case before. Oh, they've rigged that. Maybe I'm not sure what's happening there. Could do legs though, because I have some legs. Oh, jeez, Louise, that scared me. Yeah, I'm not really too sure what's going on here, but it's five bucks. Honestly. There's already holes made for legs. I have some legs. It's $5 buy-in? Potentially. It's like a orangey brown too. I see some orange undertone. Yeah. And it's cute, like, you know? Yeah. Short, cozy. It's like cute. Like I would like this chair. I would keep this chair. Okay, this brings me to my fifth tip, which is frequent the thrift stores in your local area because it is so hit and miss. Every single time you go to a thrift store, you never know what's gonna be there. They just got a whole delivery today um, and I just found out their days for deliveries are Wednesdays and then they constantly get new donations. So always, always, always stop by thrift stores when you can because you never know what you're gonna find. We found this pool table at Goodwill. It's $40 and I think I'm going to be keeping it for myself, but these end parts, they lift up and so they're like built-in leaves, which is really neat. And it can slide right in. How cool is that? We've been looking for a dining table and I think this, this one's it. So we're going to grab that. Alrighty, headed into another one. Thrift world. A little bonus tip, if you're first responders, seniors, teachers, military, a lot of times thrift stores have days that you get discounts, so be sure and hit up them on that day. It's kind of similar to what we just got. 
Ours was a little bit more expensive. This one seems to be a little bit heavier, but. And it's thicker. It's not this, it's not like as It's not the same. Long. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty cool, but that is super neat. Super neat. It's like a dollhouse that you could put together. Do all the finishes for. That'd be fun. Little project. This is like a mansion. $150, what? It's like someone made this. This is so cool. How fun would this be as a project like for a little girl or boy to like do with their parents? That'd be so fun. My grandpa, who's passed away now, but he used to like put together houses. So I feel like this would definitely bring my mom memories for sure. Like this looks like it's from scratch, honestly. Got a little guy right there. But again, I didn't see a price, do you? And I know they won't sell it at this place. If this place doesn't have priced furniture or like price tag on it, they won't sell it and they'll be like, come back. So that's I'm unfortunate. Say the manager, right? Didn't they have to say the manager will? True. Maybe it's during the day, so there might be a manager. Maybe I'll go ask for, for where to put it. I think it would be really neat in the Airbnb, um, in the sunroom area because we don't have any furniture for that. So I'm kind of also, well, kind of helping you guys with looking for profits. I'm also looking for stuff for the Airbnb um, because we are ready to start furnishing that now. And in the next few weeks, we're gonna be having tons of Airbnb content. So I'm super excited about that, but we need to start sourcing furniture. And I think that this would be really neat because in the sunroom, the flooring is light. And so I wanna bring in some warmth and I think that this would be a really good way to do that. And honestly, it doesn't need any work except for right here. Um, there's just a tad bit right there. And I think I could just find a stain and match that, stain it up a little bit, and then it'd be perfect, depending on the price. I'd say no more than like 25 for me. Okay, there's just this table on this brown table. Oh, they must have brought that off the truck and I did not know it. Uh, it'd be $10. Okay, perfect. Let me go grab a tag. Phone. Okay, thank you. All right, $10, not bad. It just came off the truck. I think it just came off the truck, so she said she just missed it in pricing. So, got it for 10 bucks. I'll take it. I can't 100% tell if this is like a remake of a mid-century modern piece, but it's at least re uh, it's at least mid-century style and it's heavy and I think it's real wood the whole way through. Um, I mean, it might have some veneer, but like it's pretty like solid. So I think it might be real. I don't know. There's no markings on it either. So either way, it's a cool, good find for 10 bucks. Bonus tip, bring the muscles to help you load your furniture so that you don't have to carry it yourself. We're at another Goodwill. I think the Omaha area just has some really great thrift stores and I feel like there's an abundance of like Goodwills and other thrift stores around too. So we're pretty lucky with where we live. One day when we do get a big enough warehouse, those pieces that you saw at that first Goodwill for $24.99 that were half off, we probably, I will probably just store those because so many times we get people that message us on Instagram asking for specific size pieces. So I feel like for those prices, those are just pieces that we have to get and make sure that we have on hand because the time will come. Even if Lauren doesn't have a direct vision. She's in the bathroom. She doesn't know I'm recording this, so I'm gonna sneak this in. There she is. Uh, so much exercise stuff. Mm -hmm. oh. This is actually, would this work for your coffee stuff in our, or do you think something different? Mm. Uh, like I don't I think so. I feel like I would, change out that, but, yeah. 
It wasn't an immediate yes, so that leads me to believe no. Negative Ghost Rider. And of course, a bonus tip is to always check out the housewares section because you never know when you're gonna find some stuff for staging. This is a great way to get a lower buy-in because when you're selling your furniture, staging is super important, but you don't necessarily want to spend an arm and a leg on the staging products. So something that I just found, this right here, these are like purple eucalyptus um, fake flowers or fake plant. And I don't necessarily think I'll keep this, or if I do, I might change the color of it. Um, but I love the flowers and I can always pair that with another vase that I already have or another one that I find at a thrift store. One other thing is you wanna be on the lookout for things that maybe aren't quite what you're looking for, but something that you could just do something very easily to tweak like the color of a vase or something like that. I found the perfect mug for you. A little napkin holder for the Airbnb. Perfect. For napkins? Mm-hmm. In the Airbnb? Mm-hmm. I found these. Did you? They're two dollars. Not sure what I'll do with them, but they're really neat. They're just glass bottles, but could use them for something. Let's put them in our downstairs basement where the rest of the stuff goes. Thank you. Thank you. You have a great rest of your day. You, you too. too. All right, we're at another one, another thrift store. Oh my gosh. That's two hundred dollars. Some places are like mid-century modern, price it really high. <laughs> this is not worth two hundred dollars. No. It's like particle board or laminate, like plastic. Ay ay ay. What is the green tags? Are anything on sale today? I don't know. I didn't see. Did you see? No. Got legs. There's another one. Comfy. Oh, it's a pair. They're thirty. About to be a green tag. Let me ask. Ma'am. Yes. Are the green tags? Are those a special price today, or? Um, they are not. But what is it? Uh, there are two velvet chairs here. We're kind of looking at. These two? Yeah. These, I think, are half off. Let me go check real quick. They should be half off. Oh. And why was that? Or why is that, well, do you think? Because the red tags are on sale, and we ran out of red tags, so we had to use orange. Oh. I'm just going to make sure that that's the case. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Uh -huh. That's 50. <laughs> but that's cool, too. Yeah, I do think that's. And it's in good shape. You just clean it up a little bit. No rips or tears that I can see. Now oh, we need to flip it around. Pull it out. Some more bamboo. That's or not cane. bamboo. I don't know what that is exactly. Yeah, no rips, tears. I'm assuming someone already ripped the skirt off. Which is again, less work for me. Cause that's like an earthy tone. You put some greens around it. Oh yeah. It actually rang up 1604. Oh, you're speaking my language. Over here, I don't think it's in good as that good as shape. Yeah. Actually, um, I'd say this one for five bucks because it's got this on it. It's kind of worn. Hey, I'll Can come around yeah. real quick. Yeah. Oh, it's missing a button. It looks well, like. No, it's just it's. I don't know if it's really thin or it's been ripped. I mean, if you just a pill on it, you wouldn't see it. But. Yeah. Oh well. You said five bucks. You'd do yeah. that one for. So that would be 16 and then five? So that'd be a little over 20 bucks, 22 bucks. Oh, darn. Is it bad, bad? Kinda. You definitely have to have a throw, or a throw pillow or something in front of it, I would think. Yeah, it's like. I don't think you could fix it. Like, I mean, you might be able to. Oh. Uh, but just getting one would be fine. But for five bucks, like she said, we could throw a throw over it and just. Yeah, like, a, like this little pillow that wasn't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> 
You bamboozled us. No, I didn't. <laughs> no, she I didn't bamboozle us. Okay, I'll think about it. Okay. Thank you. So then anything that we see that has like an orange tag like orange that. Orange or red. Oh, orange or red. Okay. Oh, cool. And anything that you see that, I mean, we have way too much furniture. Uh -huh. I personally think. Uh -huh. I got too much money on it. Nobody uh -huh. wants to buy it. What sure. about this? So I don't know. Er not everybody sees things my way, but I think they would come down on just about everything. Okay, cool. Are you the one that we makes agree. the decisions? No, or? absolutely not. Oh. Oh, so you'd, you'd have to ask? Let's see what's the, um, I imagine that that's been here since April 17th, so they would probably go, oh my, see, that's why stuff is still here. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly, yeah, we've been noticing that all across the area, yeah. too. So, let me see if I, I can just get permission to sell it. Okay. Right. Thank you. Always ask and negotiate. Bonus tip. And that's why it is important you talk to people at the thrift stores. I didn't do much, but asked her one question, then she went on, so now we might be getting a pick of the litter here, so be friendly. For sure. Like she said, so much furniture here. Forty. Ten dollars oh. off on that chair. I'll take that. <laughs> Look at this, but I don't know, there's no Oh, nice. Oh, it's a hundred. And that one's 150, or yeah, 150. That one's nice too. How about both for a hundred? Or both for 200? Both for a hundred? See, and then this is 65. See, they... Somebody found something. You never know what you're gonna find here. He graduated. I'm so bummed. So that's what we got going on here. But tell her what the lady said. So the chairs are listed for 30, but the red tags, which they ran out of, are 50% off. So it's 15 or 16 for this. And then since this one has the rip, they said that they'd throw it in for free. Um, so now it's just like debating whether or not I get it, because I'm just not sure, again, how I would sell it. But, you know, putting a pillow in front of that would be fine and like Neiman said I guess we could keep it if no one like actually wanted it trying to sell that one um, but I think we're for sure gonna get I guess we might as well just get all three since it's free we got yeah. some deals okay so the two orange okay. oh never orange. mind okay here, here come Laura. Laura. Here come Laura okay, okay. all righty bye-bye this one just charge them for one and they get their the other one for nothing because it's so uh, I ring this up. Yep. Yeah. And it was 50% off? It's yeah, it already, it already comes off. Yep. Oh, perfect. Okay, and this one was the chair? Yeah. That's correct. So yeah, so $10 off of that one. So furniture... For 40. 40. Okay. And then that blue one's just that blue one. And blue just blue. Okay. Thank you. All right, we are at the last one for the day. Another Goodwill. Dang, look at those. Oh, these are in really nice shape. I don't see any tears in them. No, none of the cane has tears. Kind of crazy. 50 bucks. And it's like, it needs a little love, but like the cushions are in great shape. The cane is in great shape, which I'm super surprised. Yeah. Because usually this stuff like just is ripped or torn or something's wrong with it. And this is all in like, it's not stretched, it's like, it's really good shape. I'm not quite, quite sure like the resale value on this type of stuff. Kind of depends what you do, like, the cushions are in really nice shape, I think, so like I would totally leave that. There's a little tear right there, but you could just cut that and kind of mask that a little bit. I don't know. Cause I don't, I'm like, I wonder if it would be worth like flipping, you know? The gold down there is what I'm curious. Like, how would you tackle that? I think I would take it off. Oh really? It looks like it's take offable and then potentially- Removable? Take offable. It's take offable. Mm -hmm. And then 
just kind of see like what it looks like. Hmm. I and guess then you could Dixie could, Bell like. Could potentially like, you uh, know, redo it, like spray it, but like it looks like there's screws, so just take it off. Yeah. 50 bucks though? Oh gosh. This Goodwill has, this is the newest Goodwill in town and it like doesn't disappoint with furniture. I've gotten a few things here on like the first month it opened. My gosh, should we do it? It's a cool looking table. I think you should just brush that up with gold though. Oh, there's one. But that's not bad. No. That's like, you could just put a little dab of glue. Let's do it. Oh, snap. Tomorrow is gonna be a day full of going back to the same place as we were today and picking everything up. And of course, of course, seeing what else they got in, right? So, we might just need to get a dang, like, moving truck. Those are kind of what you were looking for, I'm right? looking for plant stands, but I'm not just not sure if these are the vibe. You're still looking for end tables too, aren't you? For us. Those are end tables though? No. No? It could be. They're kind of small. I know you were saying you wanted skinny and like tall or something. Yeah, but they're kind of small. And I only want one. Oh. But I was thinking these for like plant stands, but the vibe that I have, I got three other plant stands at a thrift store and the vibe is not the vibe here. Gotta keep the vibe the same. It's eight bucks. Kind of rolls a little funky, but I think these just need to get cleaned up, you know? Yeah. Should I get this too? Stay tuned guys, Operation Clean Out the Storage Unit is coming soon. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get this one too. <laughs> <laughs> Might as well, right? We're right. here. One of the girls, like she was looking at me and then she's like laughing, like kind of like a, I know them one. And then when we were walking and you stopped pushing the chair, I heard her say, how do you know they have a vlog? Or a blog or something? Oh. Yeah. Probably because we're recording. Or they've seen it online. Maybe. Do they want to be in it? I don't know. I don't think so. They got a little nervous. Okay, six chairs later, two dressers. Yeah. That was a good day of thrifting right there. For sure. You never know if you are gonna come across a jackpot at some thrift stores and not the others. Sometimes all of them have nothing. So it totally depends. That's why tip number five is so important to frequent your local thrift stores. We try to just make a day out of it. That way, you know, we don't have to like stop between projects. Sometimes if I'm passing one, I'll also just stop in. You never ever know what they're gonna have. So you just gotta keep checking. I know I said that a bunch, but it's true. We were blessed by the thrifting gods today because we haven't been thrifting. I mean, she, like she said, she stops by some here and there, but today was our first day back thrifting in a, in a while, a little bit. Yeah. and. I mean, it was well worth it. It was a on the cusp type of thing too, because just between uh, you and I, you and I, the other video that we were gonna put out this week, it wasn't done in time. So we kind of just substituted plan and we were blessed and it was the right decision, obviously. Yeah, so we'll be picking up, making our rounds. We're picking up everything tomorrow. So, so we'll, we'll see you guys see tomorrow. And All righty, I am headed to grab some furniture. We've got a lot of stuff to pick up today. So I figured I'd get an early start. It's about 10 o'clock. Neiman is editing. So I just decided to go ahead and I'll make my way around town to uh, pick up some of the goodies that we picked up or that we bought yesterday. Hey, pickup number one we got. Table and chairs. Now, gotta drop this off at home and come back and get more. Oh, oh. All right, got the table that's going in our house loaded up. And this kind of stinks because we basically just have to make 
four different trips since we bought things at four different places, but the things that we bought at the different places minus this is like a full truckload. So I gotta go back, drop this off now, and then we'll be making more and more rounds. All right, Neem now joined us to pick up. Gotta ring the bell here. We are at the St. Vincent de Paul. Picking some hello, stuff hello. up. Yes, sir. Oh, we got three chairs, two tan ones, one green one, and one dresser. By the white truck, you said? Yeah. Okay. Excellent. Do you want to move over there and I can go in there? Got it all loaded up from destination number three. Gotta go home and unload. I'll we'll come back for one more load. Last pickup of the day. We're done, headed home. I'll show you a haul. I think this is the literal best thrifting haul that we have ever, ever gotten in one single day. We actually only grabbed things from, I think, five thrift stores. I'm not even sure how many we actually went to, but we pretty much hit the jackpot on all of the thrift stores we checked out. Let's break down this haul and go through the pricing of each piece we picked up. First, we've got this tan chair swivel rocker, $20. Not bad at all, in really, really nice shape with no rips or stains. This is next, we got it for $100. It is the Thomasville dresser. So really great brand, really heavy and well-made dresser that I'm crossing my fingers one of my potential clients will claim for her own home. This barrel chair leather we got for $8. So awesome deal there. I think it can just be cleaned up a little bit and then sold for more than $8. Then we've got this guy. He's a little wobbly because the base is a little bit messed up. So it was only $5, which of course we're gonna be able to get more than $5 when I fix it up, clean it up and sell it on Facebook Marketplace. Next, we got this guy. We talked her down from $100 to $50. So we got 50% off. So don't be afraid to just talk with the employees and just see what kind of deals you can get. Chances are they have so much furniture that they just wanna get things out of there, which is what was our case in this specific store. Speaking of that same store, I got this chair for $40, which was $10 off of the original asking price of 50. This is gonna be a really good flip. Not a lot of work involved either because it already has the skirt ripped up and it's in really great shape as well. Next, we picked up this mid-century modern coffee table. I'm pretty sure it's authentic mid-century modern. It's, in, it's just a really well-made table. We're gonna put that in our Airbnb. It was only $10, so not bad there at all. We got a couple of decor pieces. $1.99 for the napkin holder. We're gonna put that in the Airbnb. And then for staging, I picked up this little vase and it was $3.99. I also picked up these two glass bottles. I'm thinking of doing some type of DIY with them. They were $2 each. And then this was $6 and I thought it would be really awesome for staging, which we later found out this is actually potpourri. And so it has a nice smell. Our car was smelling really nice all day yesterday, but I thought that was really pretty for staging. And then we got this guy, this was $40. And remember it pulls out on each side and we're probably gonna be keeping this table once I work my magic on it and kind of bring it back to life. And I know I said that I'm not gonna get any more kitchen tables and chairs, but this one is just different and I say that a lot but seriously the cane is in such immaculate condition on the chairs as well as the upholstery so I haven't quite decided what 
way I'm going to go with it when I do flip this. So drop your comments down below on what you think I should do. Should I just restore it or should I paint it a certain color? I'm thinking of keeping the upholstery as is, but we'll see. But $50 on this set of furniture, not bad at all. And last but not least, we got these two chairs for the pair for $16 because this was marked half off and then they just threw this one in since it does have this rip. We'll see what we can do as far as earning a profit for this chair. We may just throw it in or if someone doesn't want it, we honestly might just keep it because it is still so comfy and we can really look past the rip in it. So all in all, like I said, I think this is one of the best thrifting hauls and I'm so excited that we were able to find all of this great stuff. All in all, we spent about $355 on all of this stuff, about 20 pieces, including the decor. So that's an average of about $18 per piece, which is a total steal if you ask me. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, but then also learned a little bit when it comes to thrifting for the low low and knowing exactly what to look for when you are thrifting and how to get the the, the top dollar when you are flipping your furniture. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the flip side.